Hey everyone, welcome to the results announcement video for the transport ride, ride creation contest. So in this uh, contest all the players had to build a transport ride with uh, more than one station which traveled through several themed areas. So yeah, we got uh, some really uh, nice entries uh, in this round. The maximum allowed map size for this round was pretty big. So uh, yeah, quite a few of the players uh, just went crazy uh, adding in lots of different details. I saw quite some uh, different takes uh, on this uh, on this contest, so yeah, it's, uh, this I think this will be a fun video for everyone uh, to watch. Okay, um, I will start with the one that got last place, and I'll finish by announcing who is the winner of this round. Okay, in uh, the last place we have this entry from seven three three seven three seven. Wait, there's supposed to be a transport right here. <laughs> well, actually, you can see it here. It's uh, it's a train which travels uh, all throughout the map. But yeah, um, I think the uh, biggest problem of this ride is that it's only uh, visible in, in a few spots. So for example here there's a little cutout in the map and there's also a few cutouts uh, over here. And also here on the side where there's actually fire going through the track. But yeah, other than that it's uh, quite difficult to actually follow the train track. And on the pl if I remove the scenery here you can see that for a large, uh, large part of the track, the terrain has these uh, supports under it. Now, um, personally, I don't really like these uh, these terrain supports. Um, yeah, they're they're quite bulky, and especially in parts like this where uh, some of the supports are hidden, it, I think it looks a little bit uh, strange. Now, I also uh, read in some of the reviews that a lot. Yeah, a lot of people commented on how the speed of the train is very random throughout the track. That can definitely be seen here. Uh, here there are some parts where the train is really slow and over here it's really fast. And there doesn't seem to be a, a good reason for the train to uh, to do that. So yeah, when uh, you make a ride that suddenly goes faster in some area, it's, uh, yeah, it's always a good idea, I think, to... Uh, Make it so that the viewer understands why it's going faster. For example, there could be a section with falling boulders or uh, some other apparent danger, something like that. Or maybe just a stretch of a straight track. Uh, but yeah, right now it just, uh, just seems a little bit random. Quite a lot of the scenery also seems a little bit uh, spammy, but uh, yeah, that's just the style of, the, of this builder. Yeah, overall, not too bad, I think, but it's a shame that the train ride is not uh, very visible. Alright, up next is the park from Low Poly Surf. Now, um, you can see in this park uh, several themed areas, all very different. So here we have this uh, a wooded area, a generic uh, forest uh, theme with some mine uh, equipment here. Over here we have a canyon with red sand. This is probably my favorite area of the park. I also like these uh, oil rigs here. Uh, yeah, some of these uh, uh, wind sculpted canyon pieces, uh, some colored rocks, again, some more uh, mining equipment, and some really nice bridges here. Um, this looks like a, a, yeah, a sandy theme or like an Egyptian theme. There's a pyramid here, some ruins, a sphinx, also some uh, shops here. Yeah, I, I really like this area as well. And uh, over here we have a snowy uh, theme. Yeah, this looks a little bit more a uh, barn, but uh, yeah, overall I think the landscaping here in the park is actually really nice. I think it would have been uh, even nicer if there was uh, a bit more for the viewer uh, to actually watch. So decoration is a little bit sparse, but uh, I do really like the landscaping in this uh, in this area. Now the transition between these uh, scenes is. Uh, a little bit abrupt, maybe uh, the transition could have been a little bit uh, yeah, less sharp. But overall, um, yeah, I really like the way this uh, map looks. Here's the map from Dark Raider. Uh, again, uh, it's a very striking uh, landscaping. Here you can see a, a snowy, snowy area. Over here you can see a another a more forested area with castles so i guess this is a uh, medieval themed over here this area is a more uh, themed uh, like a i think it's a mine theme i also see a big uh, skull here and this is a roman themed area 
So each area has its own uh, rides in it. Um, quite a big wooden coaster here, which uh, covers this entire area. Uh, several other rides here in this part. It's a big side friction coaster in the Roman uh, area of the park. And here we can see a mine train coaster, uh, which uh, travels around this area. So yeah, compared to the previous uh, entry, we can already see lots more uh, attractions in the park, which uh, definitely makes it more interesting for the viewer. Now, um, as for the train ride, yeah, I think it's not a good idea to keep these uh, uh, original supports all uh, all throughout the ride, especially in these diagonal sections. It just makes the track look uh, very bulky, and I don't really think uh, it makes the track look very nice. When I build a miniature train like this, I usually just keep them on uh, ground level. Or at least uh, where, when I elevate them, I try to make uh, a nice bridge for them. And especially in uh, uh, sections like these, where only some of the support show, uh, I think it looks a little bit strange. But yeah, overall, I think this is a nice entry. Alright, here's the entry from NFE. Now, I think he made a wonderful uh, landscape here. I uh, really like the way uh, he shaped the, the land here, but also the foliage uh, and all the different colored flowers. I think they make it look really nice. So he made one of these uh, funiculars and uh, when the ride uh, leaves uh, the station, you can actually see uh, uh, two trains uh, pass each other here in the middle. So yeah, real funiculars, they're usually uh, attached to the same cable, so they're always uh, the same distance apart, so uh, they will always uh, cross each other at the same point. And I believe uh, a shoestring uh, was used here, so these uh, these vehicles are actually part of the same train. Now I haven't really looked into how exactly this was done, but uh, when you uh, select this uh, vehicle you can actually see there's an underground uh, uh, yeah, it's actually part of a train with the front train uh, underground. And it's actually in shuttle mode, so that's what makes it go forwards and uh, backwards again. Yeah, um, some other ride here as well. We can see this uh, um, Rusty Joe, which is this uh, toboggan uh, coaster. It's probably uh, meant to be a, a, to represent an alpine uh, coaster. That's my uh, guess. Oh, yeah, very nice uh, landscaping here. Also love this uh, bouncy castle that he uh, that he made here. So it's a little baby carousel here. No guests actually seem to be riding it though. And here on the back of the map, <laughs> there's this big DKMP sign with a love heart. I uh, I love that. <laughs> All right, uh, really nice entry from NFE. Okay, next entry is from Ace Trainer Li Bang. And uh, yeah. He made this uh, beautiful entry, um, a yeah, great landscaping once again. Uh, A-Trainer Lee Wong said this entry was uh, inspired by uh, Mount Dirkling and Halifax uh, grounds. And I can definitely see some of the inspiration that was taken from Mount Dirkling. It's probably mostly in the, in the way the foliage was done, but also the uh, volcano rocks that were uh, used here. Now, as for the volcano rocks, uh, when you use these uh, it's always good to make a little bit of height variation in these uh, in these uh, piece, volcano pieces. Because right now, for example, if you look closely, you can see there's a lot of the same texture, which may make it look uh, repetitive. But still, um, I think it actually looks uh, really nice, especially when you look from uh, uh, when you uh, zoom out. Uh, it's a nice little uh, townscape over here, and some uh, nice uh, buildings here as well for this uh, station. Like lots of decoration uh, throughout the map. You can also see some sort of air base here. There's actually fighter jets uh, flying around the map as well. So yeah, I think uh, Ace Trainer uh, Li Wang uh, did a really nice job on this map. And it's also fun uh, seeing this uh, train go around here. And what I probably like the most is all this extra infrastructure uh, near the stations for the for the train ride. Really nice job. Okay, here's the entry from Old School. Uh, first off, uh, yeah, I uh, really like the way this uh, this map looks. Looks like an old park with lots of uh, carnival uh, rides. I also love the way the outside of the map is uh, decorating with these decorated with these uh, colorful blocks here. 
And it's also uh, cool to see these uh, cars uh, drive around here. It always adds so much life to a road to actually have cars uh, going around in it. Oh, some nice rides uh, on this map. Uh, you can see a little coaster here called Little Dipper. Uh, yeah, lots of these carnival rides. You can see a carousel here. A uh, little playground. Looks like a little eating area here for the guests, a food court. Uh, these uh, buildings only uh, consist of a facade. I also quite uh, like the way this looks. So they have a nice front. But when you look at the back, you can see there's just uh, support. Now, um, the train goes all around the map here. It has uh, two stations, I believe. So you can see it uh, go around here. Now, there's also a train crossing uh, point here where the tracks cross each other. But as you can see, these trains will actually uh, um, yeah, phase through each other. So I'm not really sure if this train crossing was a, was a good idea. <laughs> Oopsie. But yeah, um, like I already said, uh, overall I just really like the way this map looks. I love all these uh, arcade uh, games. I love these, uh, all these rides. Now you can see a slingshot ride. Personally, I would probably put these towers a little further apart. Um, but yeah, uh, like this, I think it also looks nice. Uh, I love the, the this fence uh, around it. Love the queue for it. Also a nice uh, parking uh, lot here next to this uh, next to this park. Yeah, it's just a beautiful uh, entry. Uh, yeah, great work uh, once again from uh, old school. Okay, here's the entry from Lurker. Now uh, he had a different take on this uh, on this contest. So he actually made it look like a. Uh, like one of these uh, model rides. So here in the middle you can actually see uh, some of the controls for it. You can see some buttons. Uh, you can also see some parts that were used to construct this. You can actually see a box here with uh, some uh, uh, model trees. Here you can see a building that's still being uh, constructed. You can see some uh, glue here and some uh, roofs. So this building uh, still has to be assembled. You can also see some extra trains here on some uh, shelves. So I think that's uh, really uh, creative. So like how we made a little bridge here over this uh, gap. Uh, several themed areas. So you can see a snowy uh, themed area here. It's called Frostburg uh, Coal. So I think this uh, train here is loading uh, coal into its uh, wagons. See a uh, um, yeah, different themed uh, um, station here. It's called Springville. It's probably a, a spring themed area. It's probably more uh, summery or uh, uh, more themed to autumn. Uh, this is a, no, this is the autumn area. So it uh, looks like it's themed after the seasons uh, of the year. But yeah, some uh, beautiful uh, stations here in this park. Some nice extra rides as well. You can see a little coaster here. Uh, some maze over here in the summer area. And here there's just a beautiful uh, townscape. So just uh, beautiful decorations uh, throughout this uh, map. I think uh, Lurker did an amazing job here. And I really like the way he executed this uh, this model uh, idea. Okay, next up is uh, the park from Monster Box and NZ Wolfie. Now I loved uh, this idea. So they actually have a ride uh, which starts on this uh, platform here. And this platform is actually some sort of uh, time machine, I believe. Looks like a, or it's a space station pipe here. But yeah, guests can board a monorail here. And it will actually take them uh, through to the same castle, but through different time periods. So here you can see, uh, uh, actually see a medieval scene. Here you can see uh, this big castle. I actually love uh, these, uh, the way they use these ruins uh, pieces here. You don't see uh, people use them very often. But uh, when mixed with the right textures, they look uh, they look great. I think they used them in a great way here. So you can see a little uh, jousting uh, scene here with these uh, horses or these uh, night uh, vehicles. That's uh, really cool. I love the way they made this uh, medieval town here. And you can see the monorail uh, traveling around on these uh, railway tracks here, also with the station. So I guess the people from this uh, this era can actually. Uh, travel with the monorail to a different uh, time period as well. Yeah, this beautiful landscape, beautiful castle. And after that, uh, the monorail travels through this black uh, orb here, and then it travels uh, to the modern age. 
So you can see a go-kart uh, track over here. Here you can see the castle again, but uh, in a more modern uh, age. So yeah, you can see uh, that uh, uh, several of the structures uh, are actually gone. So uh, probably over time they have uh, they have eroded or have been destroyed. So yeah, the castle is a lot uh, less big than it uh, used to be in in old times. But you can still recognize its shape, especially in these uh, rocky uh, structures. So you can see moder more modern structures uh, around it. And I really like the way they uh, uh, decorate this monorail track. I think this is a really nice looking uh, combination of track pieces and supports here. Okay, and after that it uh, actually travels to the future. So you can see this uh, castle has been, uh, castle uh, base has been reused. And there's actually now this uh, a futuristic uh, castle dome on top. Yeah, I think this uh, this looks really nice, and there's now this uh, big dome in front of it, uh, which actually has uh, uh, yeah, like all this uh, all these plants and vegetation inside. So it's pro it's uh, like the the <laughs> you can actually see some entertainers here uh, walking around in space uh, suits. So it's like the Earth's atmosphere is no longer habitable, so people have to live in domes. Uh, probably uh, some uh, something like this. But yeah, again, wonderful landscaping, and I uh, love how you can still recognize the castle uh, structure uh, in it. So yeah, this was uh, one of my favorite uh, entries of the round, for sure. I think uh, Monster Bucks and Anzat Wolfie did an amazing job here. And by the way, you can download all these entries uh, for yourself if you want to see them. I uh, highly recommend doing so, as I cannot possibly cover everything that which is uh, there to see in these entries uh, in this short video. So if you want to download these entries, uh, become a member of my Discord server. You can find the link in the video description. And Discord is completely free, so you don't have to worry about that. Alright, next up is the entry from Hobion and the Shack. Now, they uh, went absolutely crazy with uh, details throughout their entry. Uh, so I believe the story was something about there being uh, like a more posh uh, area where the uh, residents uh, live in a more uh, poor area. And there's lots of uh, industry uh, going around in this map. And they were actually uh, starting to expand into a wildlife area. You can see some uh, protesters uh, walking around over here. Angry at everything, took the wrong bus. <laughs> Here you can see some uh, guards for this uh, construction site. But yeah, some beautiful uh, rides in this uh, park. I love all the very compact uh, roller coasters that they made. They just look really nice, especially with all these uh, custom support and uh, these buildings for them. Here's another uh, coaster. So it's another small one. This one has these uh, mine train coaster uh, trains. No, it's more of a fantasy uh, theme park. So the rides uh, don't uh, necessarily uh, are not necessarily very uh, realistic. Uh, they don't really conform to a uh, to a certain manufacturer, and I think that's always a really fun way to actually build your park. Yeah, just the beautiful uh, structures, beautiful landscaping uh, throughout the park. I love the way they did these uh, these uh, ridges uh, with all these uh, ruins pieces. I love the way they did it, all these uh, buildings and the foliage in the park. Uh, here you can see another one of these uh, scat towers, like the one I built in Class Action Mega Park. It's nice to see other people uh, build these rides now uh, as well. Now, of course, there's also a transport ride going throughout the park. There's these uh, monorails going around on these train tracks. I love the way uh, they did all this, uh, yeah, all these uh, power lines above them and the structure around them. This, uh, this monorail just looks uh, amazing. So these stations for the monorail, they look uh, really nice. Some other cool rides throughout the park as well. So yeah, I cannot possibly cover everything there is to see in this park. It's just way too much. But uh, I love uh, every uh, every bit of this park. So a wonderful job from uh, Hobion and the Shack. And uh, yeah, definitely be sure to download this entry and check it out for yourself. It's amazing. Okay, the next entry is from Raymond L and Risico. It's another huge entry, um, so let's do, use uh, the cutaway view, because uh, they recommended doing that. And otherwise these beams here are blocking the view, so let's do that. Alright, I think this is the correct height. 
So basically, uh, the story uh, said something like they actually made uh, uh, like eight uh, multiplayer plots or something like that. Just uh, eight and different, uh, completely different scenes. And uh, they really went uh, all out with uh, with uh, detailing them. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's just start over here. So here, this looks like a very futuristic scene. Really reminds me of an uh, earlier entry uh, Risiko did where he built this uh, park uh, on like a Martian uh, landscape with a lot of domes. I uh, love the way this uh, this uh, this looks. Oh, here you can see uh, this is like a, a futuristic uh, city. Not really sure if it's futuristic actually. Um, oh, you can see some city buses uh, going around here. Some uh, some big uh, buildings here. I love the way they did these uh, buildings. It's always uh, difficult to do nice looking uh, uh, cityscapes, but I think they really uh, nailed it here. It's really nice to see all these uh, trains uh, going around in this uh, plot. And here we can see uh, like a warscape. You can see this big uh, tank here. Now I quite like how they did these... Uh, uh, I forgot what they're called. These uh, tracks for the, for the tank. That's really cool. Also a trebuchet uh, ride here called Stealth. <laughs> also not really sure what this is. This looks like some sort of plane. That's really cool. Shooting range. So uh, yeah, it looks like some sort of training ground for uh, for an army. Now over here we have uh, this looks like uh, some sort of turntable here. Uh, these buildings look kind of uh, medieval. Uh, these uh, this station uh, looks more modern. Not really sure what they were trying to uh, go for in this in this area, but for sure it does look uh, really nice. Over here we have uh, we have uh, this is probably an older er era or uh, maybe it's something like uh, oh it's F uh, Feo Se, uh Bank. So it's probably somewhere in the East Indies, uh, something like uh, something like that. Hey, here uh, we have another uh, scene. Not really sure what this is. Copious market, <laughs> year-round uh, market. So it's some sort of uh, some form of uh, market uh, scene. Also looks beautiful, and this looks uh, like a, kind of like a Roman uh, themed area. It's actually quite looks quite like a yeah, like a building I once made in a multiplayer uh, park. Yeah, um, quite quite nicely done. I also love this arch uh, that they made. Love this bridge as well. So yeah, this kind of like the entry that Lurker made, in that it uh, looks more like a model, uh, uh, yeah, railway, with uh, the controls here in the middle. There's like an on and off switch, and it's also some of these uh, um, yeah, music uh, players. It looks like, or maybe these are to uh, set the speed of the trains. Not really sure, but yeah, for sure. Uh, Risiko and Raymond L uh, really went uh, all out with this map and I love the way this uh, looks. Beautiful work. Alright, there's just two entries remaining. I will first show both of them and after that I will reveal which one is the winner of the round. So here we see the entry from AJ and Mamarias. They made this big mall uh, which has this monorail ride uh, traveling through it. Now uh, there's just so much to see in this uh, map, and <laughs> there's just so many cool uh, little details in it. Uh, yeah, let's uh, first just uh, see the monorail going around. So it's called La Fibora. Um, I believe there was a bobsleigh coaster in uh, one of these Six Flags parks, which was called that, and actually had the same color scheme. So it's uh, really fun to uh, actually see this uh, monorail just weave around like this. Uh, uh, along this uh, second level here of the map, so it uh, actually uh, moves around like a snake in this uh, in this uh, in this map. You can also see this uh, snake pattern here on the ground. I think that's just uh, really fun. It's also fun to watch uh, all these uh, uh, all these uh, shops and stalls here. So if we use the cutaway view, uh, yeah, you can also look uh, inside them. But yeah, there's just many uh, fun uh, details uh, uh, throughout this map. Hey, you can see uh, some of the stations here that they made for this uh, monorail. I think they look uh, pretty cool. There's uh, lots of other rides uh, in this mall as well. You can see uh, a launched uh, coaster here, traveling backwards. 
test these two big uh, spikes here. There's this uh, big uh, coaster which, uh, yeah, which the travels along the parking lot of the map. Now I really like how this coaster actually travels over these uh, grassy areas in the parking lot. This is uh, really fun to watch. And it actually it also travels around the monorail, so that's some nice uh, interaction. Monorail also travels over this uh, really cool looking roof here. There's an escalator here, which uh, also uh, is such a fun uh, detail uh, to watch. Okay, they uh, synced it to the uh, speed at which the guests uh, typically walk, which actually makes it look uh, quite uh, believable as an uh, escalator. So yeah, there's uh, so many uh, cool tricks uh, in this map. I definitely recommend you to download this map uh, for yourself. Um, yeah, here you can see the monorail also travels uh, through this uh, loop here. So yeah, definitely lots of uh, interaction to be uh, to be seen here. So yeah, uh, really a fun map uh, to watch from uh, AJ and uh, Mamarias. Again, download this map for yourself and uh, go check out uh, all the little details in the park. There's just uh, way too much for me to uh, to cover in this uh, video. There's just so many cool rides uh, along the edge of the map as well. So many cool scenes. So yeah, go check it out for yourself. Uh, it's definitely worth uh, taking a look in this park. Okay, here's the entry from Ayrton and Olvenwood. It's nice to see Ayrton uh, join the contest once again. And together with Olvenwood, uh, they really didn't uh, disappoint. And uh, again, this map is just packed full of uh, details. There's so many uh, cool rides. Uh, for example, there's this wooden coaster which sits here in the middle of the map. Oh, I really uh, like uh, how much path interaction this wooden coaster had, has. Um, it travels over and under the path here. Um, next to the coaster, there's just all this uh, cool landscaping here. So yeah, the coaster is just uh, sits very uh, nicely here. Um, it's also this uh, vertical drop coaster here, which also uh, does the same thing. So yeah, lots of uh, path interaction here as well. It drops under the path here and got, travels over the path uh, several times as well. So yeah, there's lots of cool uh, interaction. I also really like the way they made this uh, bird here. So yeah, some really fun uh, sculptures uh, as well. Uh, as for the train ride, it actually has quite a lot of stations. I believe it has uh, seven stations. And for uh, yeah, several parts of the track, um, yeah, there's actually a so you can see uh, trains going in both directions uh, in this map. And actually for uh, some parts of the map they actually share a single track. So sometimes there will be trains going in one direction, sometimes in the other direction. And they actually uh, cleverly synchronized, synced it up with uh, with block sections. So I'm not really sure how they did it, but uh, they really did a good job of making sure that these trains uh, are never... Uh, um, hit each other on the, on this uh, single rail uh, track. So yeah, just a wonderful entry again. Uh, lots of details. I love these uh, buildings they made here. And you can see a little uh, display train here with this, uh, this smoke coming out of it. You can see the guests uh, queuing right behind this train here. Um, yeah, beautiful landscaping here as well in the form of these uh, red rocks. It's also this uh, jungle section uh, over here. With this, uh, with these river rapids passing through it, and the train uh, going around it on an elevated track. Yeah, I think they did a wonderful job uh, letting this train go through the landscape here. It's just uh, such a beautiful sight. Uh, I love all the uh, other rides they built in this as well. So yeah, just a wonderful entry from Ayrton and Elvenwood. Alright, having shown these last two entries, it's time for me to reveal which one is the winner of the round. The winner of the Transport Ride Ride Creation Contest is... Ayrton and Ovenwood. Yeah, the scores were uh, really close together once again, but uh, Ayrton and Ovenwood uh, take the cake. <laughs> so, yeah, really nice uh, comeback from uh, Ayrton as well. It's uh, nice to see him back in uh, one of these contests. 
Yeah, um, lots of uh, brilliant uh, entries in this round. Uh, I just love all the details that uh, all these players managed to pack into their entries. Uh, we didn't get too many entries uh, in this round, but the ones uh, we got just looked uh, wonderful. And uh, I really enjoyed going through all of them. Alright, a new uh, ride creation contest will start uh, soon. So if you want to join one of these contests, uh, just become a member on my Discord server. Uh, anybody can join, no matter how good or bad you are at this game. Our most important rule is uh, rule 7, which is uh, have fun. Alright, if you uh, liked this video, uh, please consider giving it a like. It uh, will only take two seconds and it will really help out my channel. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching all these entries and I'll see you again in the next video. See you later. Mm -hmm.